G'day all. Uh, today I'd like to show you an ATU 130 HF automatic antenna tuner. I bought this antenna tuner primarily for when I do portable and uh, I need to deploy a off-center fed dipole or a G5RV and as everyone knows they're resonant but they're not technically resonant on every frequency. The uh, tuner in the Tentec uh, wouldn't bring the SWR down to uh, a level uh, that I thought was uh, sustainable. So what I've done, I've bought this little guy here. I uh, did a bit of reading up on them. Apparently they're really good. So uh, let's see what this little guy can do. I'll just turn the volume up, make sure nobody's on frequency. I'll just check, is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? I actually can hear uh, somebody down. No, no, sounds like it's okay. Okay, so let's uh, give it a go and let's just see. Let's have a look at the power in the SWR. I'll press the tune button uh, and let's see what it can do. Audio test one, two, audio test one, two, Victor Kilo six, Charlie Oscar Lima, audio test one, two, check one, two, audio. So that looks like it's brought the SWR down fairly quickly. Um, getting fairly uh, close to full power. Um, I am running, as you can see in the background there, a 20 amp uh, lithium battery that's probably hasn't been uh, hasn't been charged up for about three, four weeks now. So um, yeah, it seems to have done the job. I'll just clear this frequency. Uh, Victor Kilo 6, uh, Charlie Oscar Lima, clear of this frequency. Yeah, just always important to uh, clear the frequency. Uh, a bit of etiquette doesn't hurt. So let's just jump up to, uh, that was 40, so let's just jump up to uh, 20 metres and uh, we'll give it, we'll hit the tune button again. Sorry about the fingers there, guys. Uh, let's see what it does. Um, I can't hear anyone. Let's do it once again. Let's just try it again. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Audio check one two, just doing an audio check and a check on fourteen decimal two four five, fourteen decimal two four five. So it's brought the SWR down to about one to seven, one to seven, which is not ideal. Let's I'll see if I can hit that tune button again and just see if we can bring it down a bit further. Audio check one two, audio check one two, audio check one two. So I suppose the best I'm going to get out of that is uh. 1 to 1.6 which is uh, a pass mark as such considering I'm using an off center fed dipole and as I said they're not they're resonant but they're not purely resonant on any frequency so uh, it seems to have done the job uh, Victor Kilo 6 Charlie Oscar Lima clear of this frequency what I can do with this off center fed dipole is probably tune it up a bit better um, there are there is a facility to tune it up um, I've just taken it out of the package as I said it's a radio wave so I've 40 through to 10. Let's just bounce up to uh, 15 meters and let's see what it can do. Uh, once again, I'll hit the tune button. Oh, I'm not even too sure bypass, maybe he's not using that at all or auto. I do believe that it does have uh, memories, uh, but once again, there's not a lot on these on the web and when you buy them i don't read chinese hieroglyphics very well so i'm not too sure what everything means so i'll just hit that tune button just listen to it, make sure the frequency is not in use it seems to be fairly clear at the moment once again i'll just check is the frequency in use is the frequency in use No, it seems to be all clear. Uh, Victor Kilo 6, Charlie Oscar Lima. Victor Kilo 6, Charlie Oscar Lima. Just doing a check on 21.295. So the SWR has dropped down to about 1.6. Power is probably 75 watts PP. Uh, the battery is probably getting a little bit low. So, um, yeah, not, not a bad result as such. Seems to be doing the job fairly well. It doing it a lot better than the tuner in the radio. Let's just uh, bounce up to... Uh, 10 meters and let's just see if there's anything there i can't hear anything as such as i said i'm just running a uh, off center fed dipole i'll just show you my setup in a minute and um, hopefully get an idea of what i'm doing um, it's probably not ideal uh, using it as a uh, inverted v off center fed but it's, you know you got sometimes you've got to do what's best or what you can uh, come up with in your backyard or any situation so let's just tune the uh, 
give it a tune, see what it does. Here's the frequency in use. Here's the frequency in use. Uh, Victor Kilo 6, Charlie Oscar Lima. Victor Kilo 6, Charlie Oscar Lima. Just doing a check on 28.495 megahertz. So, um, as you can see, it's dropped down fairly reasonably. I'd say that the battery is probably starting to uh, suffer a bit. Um, but, yeah, we'll just check the SWR once again. Audio check 1, 2. Audio check 1, 2. Audio check one two Victor Kilo six Charlie Oscar Lima clear of this frequency. Yeah, so it's about fifty watts and about one to four on the SWR, which is fairly reasonable. I'll just give you uh, a bit of an idea of uh, my setup at the moment, uh, so you can get an idea of uh, what I'm trying to achieve. Um, this is a telescopic aluminium dipole from Bushcom. So right up there is the top of it. It's about six point two to six point five meters, I believe. I've also got a twenty seven megahertz loop antenna uh, that uh, has been uh, that I'm going to do some testing with as well obviously that radio doesn't do 27 megs uh, I'll have to use one of the old uh, CBs but uh, that's virtually the setup so let's just get that out of the way and uh, let's see if I can tune down on some of the bands uh, I'm not too sure what it will do uh, just tune, hit the tune button again. Let's have a quick look. Um, just have a bit of a squeeze around to see what's happening. It's fairly late here in Perth now. Yeah, the uh, VCO is fairly, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fairly uh, light on these radios, so yeah, they're, they're, they're a bit touchy, so I'm sure there's an adjustment somewhere. So yeah, it seems to be working quite well. Uh, the unit itself, let's have a quick look around the back of it. Yeah, it just got an uh, antenna, uh, power and uh, earth. Through, uh, and basically that's it. Up through the springs and up the oh, sorry about that. Up the yeah, so there's a quick the look at the uh, coast, uh, ATU 130. Uh, it seems to be done the job quite well. Uh, and uh, I, I, this power draw is minimal. Uh, probably do, do a little bit more research. We'll have a quick look at the screen. Uh, as I said before, it could be better, um, but it seems to do the job and um, hopefully uh, it'll uh, serve me well. Okay, hope you like the video. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe. Has anyone got any comments about these or any feedback in regards to these units or any little quirks or any tips on how to use these? Um, I'd love to, love to read them um, because there's not a hell of a lot out there. Okay, thanks for watching, 73s.